So hi guys, this is Varsha and you are joining Mastermind. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions of physics from the chapter Current Electricity and all these questions are important for your ICAC 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions carefully because these are the type of questions which are mostly asked in your board examinations and it is also going to be a kind of revision for you all. So let us begin. So starting with the first question, the first question is a battery of EMF 12 volt and internal resistance 2 ohm is connected with two resistors. So there are two resistors and this is the internal resistance that is of 2 ohm and A and B of resistance 4 ohm and 6 ohm respectively joined in series. So these are joined in series A and B and these are the things that you have to find out. So first of all you have to find out the current in the circuit. So we are going to solve it here in this sheet. So first question what are the things that is given to you? First of all, you are given the EMF 12 volt. So EMF or voltage, it is 12 volt. After that, you are given the internal resistance. So let us not write internal resistance. We can write it together. So you need to find out the resistance. You need resistance. So there are total 4 ohm resistance, 6 ohm resistance and you have 2 ohm resistance. So resistance R is equal to 6 ohm plus 4 ohm 6 ohm 4 ohm and you have for 2 ohm so overall resistance is 12 ohm now you have to find out the current current is not given so we know this formula V is equal to IR so with the help of this you need to find out the current so current formula is going to be V by R I is equal to V by R so V is 12 volt and resistance it is 12 ohm so this, this is going to give you 1. So current, the SI unit of current is ampere. So it is going to be 1 ampere. Current is going to be 1 ampere. So this is the answer. This is for first part. Now moving on to the second part. The second part is you have to find out the terminal voltage of the cell. So terminal voltage formula. You must be knowing the formula for finding out the terminal voltage. So terminal voltage. is equal to EMF minus voltage drop. So this is the formula to find out the terminal voltage. Terminal voltage it is equal to EMF minus voltage drop. So what is the EMF given to you? EMF is 12 volt minus voltage drop. So voltage drop it is not given. You need to find it out. So the formula for voltage drop is going to be voltage drop is equal to IR so I is the current and R, this is small r, that means it is the internal resistance. Don't get confused. Capital R, it is the total resistance. But if we talk about small r, so it is only the internal resistance. So the internal resistance that you have for this circuit diagram, it is 2 ohm. This is the internal resistance of the circuit. And current, we have already found it out. It is 1 ampere. So 1 into resistance, internal resistance, it is 2. So it is going to give you 2. 2 into 1 is 2, 2 volt and this is the voltage drop. So voltage drop is 2 volt and this is 12 volt. So it is going to give you 10. So it is 10 volt. The terminal voltage of the cell it is 10 volt. And you have also question sub part, question number 3, sub part of question number 1. You have the third part that is potential difference across 6 ohm resistor. So you have to find out only for 6 ohm resistor the potential difference. So potential difference across 6 ohm resistor is going to be V is equal to IR and this is for 6 ohm. So I is already given to you. You have found it out already. So it is 1 ampere. So it is 1 into and for this you have to find out the potential difference across 6 ohm resistor. So you have to take resistance as 6. So it is going to give you 6 volt. So this is the voltage drop across 6 ohm resistor. So we have done. Question 1, we have completed question 1. Now moving on to question number 2. Question number 2 is the relationship between the potential difference and the current in a conductor is stated in the form of a law. So you have to name the law. So this is very easy. You must be knowing the law. It is Ohm's law. Ohm's law gives the relationship between the potential difference and the current in a circuit. After that moving on to the sub part of question number 2. Name the material that is used for making the connecting wire. 
so the wire in the circuit it is made up of copper you must be knowing this and why copper is used copper is used because it has low resistance now moving on to question number 3 question number 3 is two copper wires are of the same length but one is thicker than the other so the length is going to be same but one is thicker if this is the size of the first one so another one it is going to be thicker but the length is going to remain the same out of the two which wire will have more resistance so you have to say that which wire out of this this one is the thin wire and this is the thicker wire thick wire so you have to say that out of this two wires which wire will have more resistance so what is resistance resistance it is the obstruction offered to the flow of current so if wire is thin there will be more obstruction but if the wire is thicker then current uh, sorry the resistance it is going to be less so the thin wire will have more resistance thin wire will have more resistance and it is also it can also be denoted by this formula we know that resistance is directly proportional to length by area so it is inversely proportional to it is directly proportional to length and it is inversely proportional to area so if area is going to increase then resistance is going less and if resistance is more area is going to be less so this formula is also important now moving on to the next question that is question number 4 you have to say what is an ohmic resistor so you have to define an ohmic resistor so what is an ohmic resistor the conductors which obeys ohms law which obeys ohms law is called ohmic resistor so friends now moving on to question number 5 you have to state ohms law so this is very easy all of you must be knowing this ohms law it states that the electric current flowing through a conductor wire is directly proportional to the potential difference provided the physical conditions and temperature it remains constant so this is ohms law so i am not writing it here you can just note it down and you must also be knowing it the ohms law now moving on to second last question that is what is a superconductor that is question number 6 what is a superconductor so superconductor it is a substance of zero resistance of zero resistance at a very low temperature at a very low temperature so this is superconductor the definition of superconductor and now moving on to the last question of today's that is question number 7 state the si unit of resistivity so friends this answer it is very easy you are going to write to us in the comment section and then we are going to come back to you so friends this was the video that's all for today and besides this do not forget to answer question number 7 it is very easy in the comment section state the si unit of resistivity so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind Thank you